Hey everybody, this is Yuri with WP Soar, and today I'm going to show you how you can use attributes that you've created for your products to display them on the sidebar in your shopping cart so customers can filter their the products out by particular attributes. Now, as you can see, we've got a diverse shopping cart here. We've got cats and we've got slinkies. Now, who doesn't like cats and slinkies? To begin this, you first need to install a plugin. The plugin is called Woo Sidebars and it's it's available for free by WooCommerce all you have to do is find it and activate it once you've activated it, go to appearance widget areas and we call this widget area product category and we know that it's replacing the sidebar let's take a look inside here's our widget area called product category and you're going to have to click on the advanced tab to see what I'm actually changing here. Now notice how it gives you options for pages, gives you options for post types, taxonomy, taxonomy terms, template hierarchy, but we're looking for WooCommerce and we're looking specifically for product categories. Because we haven't created any custom pages for our products yet, we're just going to look at product category pages. And these come stock with WooCommerce. So once you check this box, you click on Update. And that's all we have to do. Now we navigate to Appearance, Widgets. And you'll notice that we have a, a sidebar called Product Category. And now it's time to add our layered navigations. First, we're gonna we're gonna add the layered navigation. Whoops. We're gonna add the layered navigation here, and this is gonna be called breed. This is for the cats. Now, you may want to separate your product categories or create separate pages for your product categories, but for now, we're just gonna create one type of navigation for all of our products, and you don't necessarily have to be organized as organized with this because it'll automatically detect which categories are associated which, with which attributes. So you'll know that you'll have certain attributes associated with certain categories. The next one we will do is color. Now color is an attribute that applies to both slinkies and cats. So you'll notice that it's going to appear as uh, in, in both slinkies and cats. And this one, we'll just call it material. That'll be enough to start with. Now cats don't have material, and slinkies don't have a breed. What's going to happen when we actually look at our slinkies and our cats? And these are our archive pages. Notice how the attributes changed. And this changes depending on what type of attributes are available for what type of products. Now there's one last thing we want to do, because if we click on one of these attributes, it just filters by the products that have these attributes. And we'll know that it ha it'll also stack all the attributes, because we selected AND. There are options. You can select AND or for the query type. If you select OR, it'll be either this attribute or that attribute. If you select AND, it'll be this attribute and additionally what other attributes after you filtered are available to filter with so you can get even more detailed. You can have different kinds of display either a list or a drop down and that's pretty much it. Now there is one last thing we want to do here. We want to see what active navigation is available. What, what is the active filter it's currently displayed. So we can actually see and the customers can see what are the active filters. So now we know the active filters are purple, plastic. So what slinky is purple and plastic? And it's also red. It's also blue. Well, it looks like it's the rainbow slinky. It actually has all the colors in the rainbow and the material is made with plastic. Thank you so much for watching, 
And please subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you have any questions, please comment in the bottom of the YouTube video in the comment section.